AI's name's Fen putting up a boring video about Angel Loader and uh, some new stuff. I this is an Angel Loader update video that I just felt like putting up for like literally no reason. I haven't done one of these in a long ass time, so uh, let's get to it. This is code. It's amazing. So uh, I was downloading the uh, the updated version of the Scarlet Cascabel a few days ago. And uh, as you can see, this is the original version and this is the updated version. Now you see the original version has Scarlet Cascabel in the name, but this updated version has only TSC, the acronym. And uh, what was happening in, uh, in Angel Loader was that Angel Loader as a sort of holdover from trying to be like Dark Loader, I guess, uh, Whenever a new FM would be added to the list, it wouldn't be fully scanned. It would only have its game type scanned, but it wouldn't have the title scanned or anything else. So what you would end up with is an FM that had the uh, archive name as the title, which means that if you've got, you know, all the FMs and then 500 more or whatever, like I do, it becomes very hard to find new FMs that you've just put in the list. Not necessarily new in release date, but new in... Uh, in terms of like when you actually downloaded them. So uh, I was trying to find this and I couldn't because it was TSC and I had to go into my folders to remember the name and I'm like, you know, this is not a very good user experience. So I've done a few things to improve that. First of all, I realized that game type is the slowest thing to scan for. So by scanning a mission for just the game type and not anything else, we're really not saving any time at all pretty much over just scanning the entire mission. So I figured, you know what? I'm already pretty much scanning the game type and taking most of the time of a full scan. So let's just make it so that every new mission just gets a full scan. Because it's hardly any slower and it means that you can actually immediately type, you know, Scarlet and then... Wow, there's three of them. Oh yeah, 1.1. <laughs> and then immediately get to the new thing. So if you remember the, the title of your, uh, of your newly downloaded mission, you could just type it and you'll immediately get it. Uh, without having to like find it and then scan it first. So I did that. Secondly, I added a column called date added where you can just sort by uh, date added where uh, the newest will be on top and so forth. Uh, this is different from release date of course. This is the date you actually downloaded it and put it in your folder. Um, now this is no slower whatsoever. Uh, the thing is, is that if you look at the code here, uh, if you look at the code here, uh, if you look at the code here, when I'm going to actually grab the list of FMs, I have these custom methods here, and uh, when it when you actually ask Windows for a file name data, it also gives you back a bunch of other stuff uh, that you can't tell it not to. It's it's the fastest thing you can do is just to ask it for a bunch of stuff. So it just gives it to you automatically. It gives you more than the file name. Uh, and one of the things that it gives you is the creation time of the file. And like I say, you get this for free. There is no performance hit to getting this because it's already there. And uh, there is a small performance hit from doing this conversion, but it's completely negligible. It's like nothing. Forget about it. So uh, I'm, just, I'm just grabbing this creation time on every startup uh, and then I'm storing it just in case you move your folder, the creation times of the files might get updated and that would mess everything up. So it does store the creation times in the database as well so that they don't ever change. And so you can sort them. So you can, if all else fails, you can at the very least put the newest added things on top and you could find things that way. The last thing I've added is, uh, and this is not in final form here, I haven't made a fancy button, but the behind the scenes work is done, show recent on top. And that is, Say you're sorting by anything else other than this. Uh, you can tell it to put the recent on top and recently added FMs will be highlighted and placed on the top of the list. Now, there's only one currently, but we can actually change this number here. Maximum number of days to consider an FM recent. Let's do 300. And you can see all of these FMs here were added by me to my own folder within the last 300 days. And so they're always on top. No matter what you sort by, these things are always on top. And you can always just quickly click it off. And there you go. So this is the quickest way. If you can't, if you don't remember the name of your new mission, you can just immediately just click that and you can just see them all at the top there. Uh, so all that's left is just to make this into a fancy button with an icon, which is kind of often the thing that holds things up most hilariously enough is just 
trying to make an icon because I'm no vector designer really. I stumble through, but but yeah, thinking of what it should be and then trying to design it is like hilariously the longest taking thing. The code is like pretty easy. So so that's uh, some of the new features uh, of Angel Loader. Now I do notice that say when you go like this, you kind of have to constantly scroll up to the top because. Yeah, I mean, there's kind of two ways you can think about this. Because uh, I'm thinking, like, well, maybe you want to keep the FM that you're on selected when you when you change the sorting. Because sometimes you'd want to do that, maybe. But then other times, maybe you wouldn't, and it's just super annoying to go to the top. So this, this is something that's kind of been on my mind, and I've been trying to, like, pretend doesn't exist. But I'm going to have to figure out some way about that at some point. To, mm, maybe an option for columns, or maybe just, I don't know. Maybe I should just not have it keep the selection, but there was a reason I did, and I don't know. But yeah, that I, I'm aware of that elephant in the room. But hopefully these other new features will, uh, you know, improve things. Uh, I've also fixed a few small bugs. Uh, nothing catastrophic, just, you know, a few things I came across. Such as if you were to... Uh, if you were to say, well, you've just added the Scarlet Cascabel updated, it's not in the database yet, and you start Angel Loader, and you see how it, just, it has the scan window. Now, previously, if it was just one new FM, there wouldn't be this progress window, and it would just kind of freeze while it's scanned and then just unfreeze. That was a bug, uh, so I fixed that. And uh, <clears throat> a couple other silly corner cases and shit like that, but... I'm thinking that once I just get a nice icon for the oh, and by the way, don't mind this. This is like a private option that I use um, to force FMs into windowed for streaming. <laughs> I yeah, I could tr make this into a public option, but like I want it to be fancier, and I just I figure if I'm going to do that, I should add a bunch of other uh, start with options, so, yeah, I haven't got around to it, so, like, shh, that doesn't exist, but this will be a fancy icon, probably put it maybe up there or something, I was thinking maybe put it here, but it's not really a filter, it's more of, like, a special case thing, so maybe I'll put it over that side, but somewhere sort of, like, easily accessible that you could just, like, click, click, click it on, click it off, and it'll be great, so, uh, that should be it for the next version of Angel Loader, and, uh, hope you're all, uh, enjoying it, or, like, whatever. Bye!